Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, four uh, quadrilaterals uh, fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow quadrilateral is represented by this uh, quadratic expression 5x square minus 3x plus 4. The area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral as 15x square minus uh, 9x uh, plus 5. And finally, the area of this uh, green uh, quadrilateral as 10x squared minus 6x uh, plus uh, 8. And moreover, these points E, F, uh, G and uh, H uh, are the midpoints of these uh, side lengths. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And now let me show you the very first uh, method. And now let's make an observation. We can see that all these uh, four uh, quadrilateral uh, meet at a common point uh, P. So therefore, I am going to connect uh, all these vertices A, B, C, and uh, D with this uh, point uh, P. As you can see in this uh, next step, and as a result, we got a bunch of uh, these uh, triangles as a result, as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle, uh, this triangle, and this uh, yellow triangle uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base uh, times height. And now we can see the base for these uh, both uh, triangles uh, is uh, same. This one and uh, this one. And likewise, uh, their height uh, at this point P is uh, same uh, as well. Therefore, we conclude that the area for this uh, blue triangle is uh, equal to area of this uh, yellow triangle. Let's assume the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, lowercase a, then the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, yellow quadrilateral. The whole area for this uh, yellow quadrilateral uh, is uh, this 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. And the area of this part is uh, lowercase a. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be this uh, whole uh, 5x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus uh, this a. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, yellow triangle is going to be simply 5x squared minus uh, 3x plus 4 and minus uh, this part, which is negative a. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, same as this uh, area of this uh, pink uh, triangle, since uh, their uh, bases, this base and this base uh, are same, and their height at this point uh, P is uh, same as well. And the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, this one. So therefore, the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle is going to be exactly same as uh, this one. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral is uh, 15x squared minus 9x uh, plus uh, 5. And the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle is uh, this one. So therefore, the area of this uh, another uh, pink uh, triangle is going to be simply this area minus uh, this uh, area. Let me go ahead and copy down this area first. 15x uh, uh, square minus 9x uh, uh, plus uh, 5 and then minus uh, this uh, whole uh, area. Let me just copy it down. 5x uh, uh, square minus 3x uh, uh, plus 4 minus uh, a. Now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, negative sign uh, all across. Let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. That is going to give us uh, 10 uh, x square minus uh, 6 x uh, plus 1 plus uh, a. So therefore, the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle turns out to be 10 x square minus 6 x plus 1 plus uh, a. 
and now let's focus on this uh, pink uh, triangle and this uh, green uh, triangle as well and we can see that their bases uh, are uh, same and their height uh, at this point uh, p is same as well so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, pink triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, green triangle so therefore the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be exactly same as uh, this one as you can see over here and now let's focus on this uh, green uh, quadrilateral whose area is uh, 10x square minus 6x plus 8 and this part of the triangle uh, green triangle area is uh, this uh, one so therefore uh, this part uh, of the green uh, triangle is going to be the difference of this whole minus uh, this area so therefore let me go ahead and copy down this area first 10 uh, x uh, square minus uh, 6 x uh, plus uh, 8 minus uh, this uh, whole area let me copy down uh, 10 uh, x square minus uh, 6 x uh, plus uh, 1 uh, plus uh, a and now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, negative sign once again as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see this 10x square and 10x square this one gone negative 6x and positive 6x is gone as well so therefore we are ended up with only 7 minus uh, a so therefore the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 7 minus a and now let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle and this uh, blue triangle as well since uh, their base is uh, are uh, same and their height at this point p is same as well so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be equal to this uh, blue triangle the area of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 7 minus a so therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be 7 minus a as well and here's our final step let's go ahead and focus on this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral the area of this uh, blue shaded region is going to be 7 minus a plus uh, this part uh, a as well so let me go ahead and write down uh, 7 minus a and then uh, plus a a and this negative a is gone so therefore the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region turns out to be 7 so therefore the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 7 uh, square units and now let me show you the second uh, method and now let's make an observation we can see that all these uh, quadrilaterals meet at this uh, point uh, p and now let's assume that the area of this green quadrilateral is uh, a sub 1 the area of this uh, yellow quadrilateral is uh, a sub 2 the area of this uh, blue quadrilateral uh, i'm going to call it uh, b sub 1 the area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral as uh, b sub 2 then the sum of these uh, two areas uh, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 is going to be equal to the sum of these other areas b sub 1 plus uh, b sub 2 as you can see in this uh, equation and now we are going to solve for this uh, area b sub 1 and now we can see our a sub 1 area is uh, this one a sub 2 area is uh, this uh, quadratic expression and likewise uh, b sub 2 is uh, this one as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, a sub 1 area by this uh, quadratic expression likewise a sub 2 by this one and finally b sub 2 area over here as well and here in this uh, next uh, step i have combined uh, these uh, like uh, terms as you can see on the left hand uh, side and now we can see this 15 x square is gone with this uh, 15x square this negative uh, 9x is gone with this uh, negative uh, 9x so therefore we are ended up with the 12 equal to area b sub 1 uh, plus uh, 5 let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides this is gone so therefore our b sub 1 area turns out to be 7 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue shared region turns out to be 7 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.